So here we've got the HD1603, which is the most popular modulator by Resilinx. So a lot of people use this for things like getting pay TV around the house. And at the back, you'll notice a couple of things. Get around there. So you've got your input, which is often, say, a pay TV box and an HDMI output. So it is great if you've got it in the living room. Foxtel is going in, for example. That can go out to your TV in that room and then your antenna system will go signal also goes out through here and it'll supply the TVs around the rest of the house. Um, some other settings you'll notice that you've got RF gain which we'll show in a second. You've also got remote powering so if you're using a hub like a RL RF 380 it'll actually power up the hub from here so don't plug a power supply into that hub just use the power from the modulator. Your IR so an IR emitter will come out of here and go into the front of, say, a Foxtel box, and that'll control the IR. So if you're looking uh, a Foxtel in, say, the bedroom, you'll be able to change channels using an RL RF210. Remote setup, that's a handy little feature. So I'm going to show you the settings from the front of the unit. But if you use a remote setup, you'll see this kind of screen, and you can see those same settings, but it's probably going to be a little quicker and easier to use on the TV screen. And the last thing is the on-off switch for the power. So you get with it just a unit and a power supply, a 12 volt power supply. Now let's have a look at the unit. So default password always with the Resilinx is four zeros. And then we get into the menu here. So the common setup output channel will by default be 39. Um, so always before you set an output channel, what you want to do is you check your spectrum on say a meter, if you've got a meter. Otherwise, 39 is a good guess at a free channel. Let's ignore that. Let's not default it yet. And so that's, that's a common setup. Let's ignore all of these things. TSID is great if you um, are setting up multiple units. Otherwise, you wouldn't touch it. So if you're setting up, say, 10 different channels, you'd use your TSID at 1000, the next one can be 1001, 1002, etc. Let's ignore these settings and let's go into the encoder. So, the program number, channel names are really useful one. So, if we did set up that as Foxtel, here it would punch in the name Foxtel, and when we type it in on the TV screen, it'll appear as the name Foxtel or whatever it is. Okay, LCN is also a useful one. So if we're using multiple channels, um, this is LCN 101. I can tell that by getting the remote control and typing in 101, enter, and that will come up as a, as a modulator and you'll see channel one as the, as the number. Encoder setup, go through there, channel name, provider name, LCN, audio output, back to main. So that's all pretty much done. The other thing, yeah, also is um, the levels. So one of the things to watch out for is, let's have a look at the meter here. If I go to TV picture, and I'm going to choose because we're going to be digital. So it's plugged into my TV. I've split the signal into the TV and and the meter. And excuse me while I change the channel to channel 39. Oh, my left hand skills. All right. So if I have a look here. You can see a TV will not like um, such high dB levels if it's going straight into a TV at 83. So back here, I've got that little blue thing and I can drop those levels up and down. See that dropping down as I rotate that blue knob. And so what, what, 
what some cheap modulators will have is a very high output level and then they'll give you an attenuator with it so just avoid those modulators um, by having a high level you're going to have a high noise floor so here a TV would like about that level 65 dB you might ask well why have a high output figure at say 90 dB well often what happens with the modulator is it gets combined into a TV signal and then split out again so you have losses so you measure it at the TV end using your meter and yeah the last feature again you would plug in that network cable in here and you'll see those same same features appearing here so common setup RF setup and whatever else um, yeah the default once you've got it in my network places or, or via the default IP address um, the password will be uh, admin lowercase and then password sorry user admin so lowercase password admin123 so capital A for admin 123 and then you get into there